Yeah, uh, I can see that. It, it does take itself much more seriously than the others. Oh, that's a good sign. I don't... I think that was in 5. I don't think that was in... I haven't played 4 Remake, though, so I don't know. Or 4 port, whatever it is. Hang on a sec. So this is Squidlet, which is another one I just saw on the eShop one day and took note of. I was like, you know, that looks neat. Yeah, I noticed on the eShop, I was like, you know what, why not? It's not completely intentional that there's like, uh, yeah. Kind of back to back, I've done two games that are basically the callbacks to specific older consoles, well not consoles in Eternal Castle's case, older platforms. But it's funny that it's worked out like that. Look at this little fucker go. That's politics for you. Har. Oops. Doc, I can see the code. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of it. Looks like fun and neat, so why not? It is capturing the whole like Game Boy platformer feel pretty well. Aren't you a rebel? Interesting. It's funny to me because I always end up doing the opposite, and usually it's just whatever Fuji like uniques I get at the start of the game, I, I will then just usually crush the entire rest of the game with. I want to use the generics because I love a lot of like the monster designs and such. You know, like I love the raise a dragon or like uh, what do they call them in like the super units that I usually get at the end of the game? Like the not Makai, like the M or. I forget what they're called, but like, I'd love to use them and all, but... Not the Ifrits, uh, the one, I think they're mainly in the sky, well, Majin, that's it. The Majins. So they're usually like the Giga fuckers, but... I always, you know, I always end up, it's just pumping it into whoever the main character is, usually. I know they change a bit, but again, I've never really used them, so I just, <laughs> I can't really say how. I do know that usually when they show up, they are kind of like beef houses. Nowadays, usually we get the start, but you have a massive boost of stats if they're last unit alive in your team. Yeah, that sounds even fussier to use, honestly, which is kind of a shame. I like them just being big powerhouses by themselves. Yeah. I mean, I guess that could be useful for stuff like, you know, specific battle fights and... Like, the battle fight in 5 being the nightmare that it is, they could probably make a good use of a margin there. Fuck's sake. Nope. 
It's a bit hard to tell muff it's like foe from muffin. Pardon me. It's having its own like Medusa head equivalent of this cosmic thing. Yeah, die, he does that. But yeah, no, I'd like to use the monsters more. I keep going, like, you should use monsters more. And sometimes I do in the main story, and then eventually I'm just kind of like, I just want to see the story through to get to the post-game shit, so I just end up focusing on... Protagonist Man, and... You know, whatever, two or three other uniques I already have leveled up, because I have them from the start of the game. How's it not? Fuck me. I always just assumed I didn't unlock them. <laughs> it is not there, fair enough, that also works. That's a bit of a step up. Yeah, I remember the the androids are usually that. Fair enough. I don't know why she's out here, but sure. I do think this could do with like, uh... Excellent. Like, uh, that'll probably help the contrast being down a bit. The camera being like zoop, like being this close in and like wiggling around this much does kind of fuck with the head a bit. This was only like two pound, to be fair. I'm a lot. I'm inclined to be a lot nicer to games when they tend, you know. When they're free or cheap. Not to say that you can get a free ride just for being free or cheap. Because you absolutely can't. And no one should. And some things can still just be you know, atrocious even when you know they are free or cheap. Fire and spit acid. Oh boy. Oh, oh. oh, speak of the devil. Am I hitting him? I think I am. <laughs> the sky from D1 to be able to plop down the turret. <laughs> it was great and I miss it. <laughs> you never know. Maybe in six. Rip. God Emperors. Thank you, I pay taxes.
Half expecting this game to like, you know, try and pull the oh, like you've done doing bad thing or whatever at some point. I kind of have that suspicion about a lot of like indie games that just try to look like nice or cute or whatever, just intrinsically. So it's kind of like, fucking of course. There's a bad instinct to have, but so it goes in a admittedly post Undertale world. Love that game, but that bit of its legacy, I can't deny being wary of it. Depends on the game. Some of them I have and some of them I haven't. I didn't go all in on five. David did. He even went and got the platinum the man man. Went doing like, tons of item world shit and all the rest of it. Yeah, that's the same for me. Like, oh, I also did that with two. Like, uh, beating Bal's reincarnation forms and getting that sh shit sorted. Doing, like, the post-game stuff, like fighting, uh, your girl from La Pucelle. Still waiting for, like, a La Pucelle, like, you know, remake or something, but I think NAS are basically hard committed to, uh, only ever you know, stick into the sky and whatever, like, you know, little horror IP and all the things they feel like cranking out. Which is a shame. Even just ports would be nice. Yeah, no, I, I get that. Because, like, the post games with this guy is require commitment. Uh, you know, they require uh, a lot of time to, like, you know, get the levels and stats and shit to beat the super bosses. Well. Unless you're like a madman speedrunner or someone who knows how to crack the game wide open. Try some mere mortals, yes. Konami reference. You do have to be moving to do it, you do sink down a bit each time, but hey, interesting. Is that the ghost I was hitting? It was knocking me back each time there. The Ancestral Golem. Oh, I 
see. Vintage espresso car. I know you mean this guy or two, but when I actually think about you know, this guy D2, I'm kind of like, man, where did that one even come from? Like, what prompted that one? Grimoire. It'd be nice to get a port of it. Yeah. Not only so we like we have it, but also because on PS3, like a lot of NASA America's PS3 jobs, it was a bit of a shit port that either crashed a lot and I don't think it was one of the ones that could kill your console. I don't think it was. I think that was Witch in the Hundred Night Witch in the Hundred Night could kill your console. But uh, it was a mess on PS3. And apparently, like from what I've seen from comparison shit, a lot of the mess was literally in localization because NES America or shithouse were or were especially shithouse. They're I think like since yeast eight, they've begun to wise up a lot. Don't mention that game, please. What like what? Which in the hundred night? I still have to play that. I also want to play the sequel. Play the demo and enjoy it, but. Yep. Easy it. Ah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Don't mention. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get you now. Still hurts, does it? <laughs> Nine is out soon. Apparently. Still need to give that series a whirl. There's much to get to. Much to get to. Before, like, outside of, like, February and, uh, April. This year seems to be pretty clean, so maybe I'll get to some of those series. <laughs> ah, that's fair. Like, so, something, depending on how I invest that I was in them, things will do that to me as well. But I have to be significantly invested to get like that. <laughs> so it goes. Broken glass panels are maybe it's meant to be broken, I don't know. Uh, 
There we go. Grimmore is taking a liking to breaking. I guess the book itself will attack us. Intend to like get to a lot of stuff. If nothing else, I intend to get to like you know fall column stuff and uh, you know the trail series and shit like that. I see he falls under that. But uh, so there's a fall column game, fall column series. Just because it's like yeah, you know, it's it's time. I intend to start Yakuza pretty soon as well. But that, you know, these things come after, like, uh, Crosscode, which you got me, Hammer, and, uh, Thumper, which Evan got me for Christmas. That's a bit. Ah, right, I get it now. Right, 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 right. So I did mention, like, shitting on the pages, didn't it? Should've got the B spell first, actually. That's nifty. <laughs> it just flies in there now. I thought it cut away before we could see how on earth she would fit in that. Hello, Chris. Turning the contrast down and turning the borders off actually did wonders for uh, 
the bit of eye strain it would have given me. Oop. That we need a key. Something over here. Oh, what I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It slops up against the wall and hits like that. It reminds me of like fucking you know, putty. The game's putty, like putty squad and shit. I do have like the PS4 port of Potty Squad somewhere, I should play that. Hmm. Putty and Putty Squad are like very old uh, like puzzle platformer games, they're on like old British computers and shit, and they got like ports to consoles like uh... As a kid, I had we had uh, Putty and Putty Squad on Super Nintendo, and like Putty's all right, and you know, need enough game, but uh, Putty Squad is on the, was the one I was really fond of because I was like get around a whole level collecting people and had like lots of like just interesting levels, interesting level art and shit. I should do that at some point just for giggles. I forget, did I get that digitally or do I? I think it got a box release, but I don't know if I got the box release. I don't immediately see it, so I probably did not get the box release. Oh shit. What's your deal? Is it just to be a pastor? I was hoping that we ink would come out faster than that. To be careful.
Bless. Let's squiddle it. Oh, I am in control for this. I could have not got anything. I don't know. Yeah, that's basically a line with a little Game Boy game, basically. Splot. Squiddle it. Maybe it was meant to mean something more in like that uh, media shop, but I couldn't tell you what. That was a neat enough Wii game. That was only like a pound or something like that, so. For what it is, that's fun enough. The whole like, word, like overlay and shit is also pretty nice. Shotgun, which were just like, you know, two short ones just to do back to back, basically. I was like, yeah, that's fine. That'll be a way of doing it. Instead of just having like, like half an hour or whatever of Shotgun, which. Uh. It'll be a bit of an early night, but that'll be me for the night. Um. At some point, I do need to do like Potty Squad just to show it off. And Mamley arrives at the exact end of the stream. <laughs> Oh, I'm Emily. <laughs> yeah, um... Uh, either tomorrow, if not tomorrow, it does depend on conditions. Uh, it'll be Final Fantasy 14 tomorrow, and if not tomorrow, then Saturday. But yeah, that's it. That. Shotgun Witch and Squidlet, fun games. Good stuff. Uh... I need to decide what the like, next main stream is, so to speak. Oh, I'll have to look around right and find some. Yeah, good night everyone. See you then. <laughs>